It's bone jarring, teeth crunching. And as bad as it is for you, it can be even worse for your car. Every day I drive down Belknap here and I take it right on this road heading into work at UWS and I more or less hit that pothole every day and uh, I drive an older car and I got to replace my struts now because I drive over the stupid pothole every day. Nick Garamoni works at the University of Wisconsin Superior. He tries to avoid the worst streets but says it's nearly impossible to find a street that doesn't have potholes. He was one of several people who brought their pothole complaints to the Northlands News Center to see if there were anything we could do to help. So we went out to look for ourselves. As our pothole patrollers report in, we've had a lot of complaints about potholes in the streets of Superior. One in particular that drew a lot of attention was here at the intersection of Belknap and Grand. We decided to come out and try and take a measurement of just what we're looking at here. So if we start at this end of the pothole, and go all the way across to really where the pothole ends. This is a monstrous pothole. Looks to be about uh, oh, 85 inches from that side to this side. That's a lot of pothole to try and get across. As you can see, a lot of cars, there's no way around it. They have to go through this pothole. So we're gonna take it to the city administration in Superior and see what we can do about this pothole. I think the action should be to, to fill these potholes as, as soon as possible. Um, the, the damage to vehicles and, and even the safety of the drivers on the road trying to veer these potholes can create potential car accidents. It seems a reasonable request. We'll see what can be done. In Superior, Barbara Riles, the Northlands News Center.